got Just Amazing rocking Santhrax going up against Kess with Team Combo Fiend. And we got two old school players from New York here. Um, obviously, Kess is going to be looking for that one touch kill. And um, we got Justin who's going to be going for that Storm Sent DHC. Well, actually, since he's rocking Sentinel first, probably just want to fuck up Magfritos with some fast flies. Iron Man Assist, again, the highest damage assist in the game. Great double snap, but unfortunately, the um, the physics of it didn't allow him for the assist kill. But he's really opening him up right now. That Magfredo is looking pretty good, but he's got to finish those ROMs. That should have been a dead cap. He gets him out safely. And obviously, Santhrax a lot stronger when Commando's alive. Um, it really stops um, a lot of aerial attacks, shuts down Runaway pretty well, and gives a great damage boost like you saw right there. And Aurora looking up to open up Magfredo's, but didn't quite work out. And that's a punish. Perfectly timed. If you fall down a little bit too soon, you're going to be in block stun. And uh, if not, then it's not going to work the other way either. Iron Man with a nice corner throw. You got a dead Aurora. See if he gets the guard break. Hands up. Nope. No fucking happening there. Sentinel going for that donut dip. Oh, Commando's out the box. Good DHC. Otherwise, I would have been punished. Now we got the robot battles. Now, Just Amazing is going to have to work pretty hard because he has no assist, no anti-air, and Kess has the highest damage assist in the game. But he feeds him a little three-piece right there. That's on promotional tour. All right, nice donut dips. Kills him with the three-piece. Damn, I thought that was only on Mondays. So Kess takes that 1-0 lead. We got Justin going with Thrax again. I, from what I've heard, this is his best team. And uh, it's a very effective team. I mean, typically you see people starting Storm first, because then you got the Storm Sent, America's favorite patriotic ass DHC. But I guess he has a lot of confidence in his Sentinel. And all Sentinel needs is really two fast flies to take out Magneto. A little four piece. Going for that Duke special. And Sentinel is safe. Magneto really wants to close the distance because he's not a character that can really do anything from full screen away. Going for the double snap, but a little bit too confident in that. He's got to be a little bit careful. Oh, man, three-piece. He's got to get Magnus out of there. Nice free HC. And the assist took the hit. Oh, no, he doesn't get the free HC. He wanted it. See, as a Magneto player, I wanted Magneto to survive. That's why, he said, why I said he got it. A little psychological shit in this motherfucker. All right, this is kind of hard for Tony to open up Storm with commando assist. Because he's really got to be strategic. Iron Man's air dashes are okay, but they're nowhere near as quick as Magfredo's. So he's really got to try to bait out some attacks so that he can open up that Aurora like a fucking 7-Eleven. But Just Amazing is playing really smart right here. He's really playing the matchup well. Um, Iron Man does not have a godlike anti-air assist, so he can't really stop Storm from running away. She's dropping hail from the sky on this motherfucker. Could have almost been punishable right there, but not quite. And Storm is really on that fucking robot. Fucking send him to his grave. This is looking like a pretty evenly matched fight. Obviously, they're both tied at one. Uh, both really smart players. Real strategic. Uh, we're going to see if Magfredos can open up that robot like a tin can. Ooh, nice. Smart. You do the standing jab to put him into block stun and then go for the cross-up. Hope for the mind fuck. Didn't quite work out for him, though. Definitely did not want that boomerang. Goes for the tri-jumps, but Commando's coming out. That commando is so good for defense and also gives you a nice damage boost, like I said. Kess really wants to kill commando because once he does, this matchup becomes about 237% easier for Magfritos. But that zoning from Justin looking pretty good right now. Just calling commando and that is a dead Magfritos. And now it's all up to Iron Man. Now Iron Man is Kess' best character and he's certainly capable of fucking putting a team into memory. But um, he's going to have to finish his combos when he gets those confirms. Definitely not going to do it like that, though. He's got to be more purposeful with his swings. That's a nice raw tag. Oh, very smart shit. I got to make that into a highlight. The robot is out the box. Cause of death? Home Depot Proton Cannon. Hands up, get fucked. All right, now if he plays his cards right, Aurora is about to meet her grave. What he's got to do is finish this infinite... Fireball into Proton, and then maybe probably need to go to Hyper Sentinel Force. Yeah, Blazer with some fucking drones. Yeah, she's out the box. Now, he should have brought back in Iron Man. I don't know why he's keeping Sentinel in there. I mean, he's still got the favorable matchup, obviously. Commando's fucking living on a prayer. But um, I would have I tagged back in Iron Man. The nice thing about when you bring Iron Man back in is you get another guard break, hands up, get fucked. 
But Commando's really not really going to make this comeback anyways. It's, it's a rough matchup. Again, let's see what we get at the match start. Maybe a dash over? No, normal jump. Normal jump into nothing. That's the classic right there. Would have been nice if you maybe at least called Repulsor. Maybe get a lucky hit. But I gotta say, Kess, Kess dashing is not looking as crispy as usual in this match. Usually I see him with the triple deep fried panko encrusted dashes. And this time it's looking kind of like some bread that's been sitting in some fucking eggs. Like some French toast type bread. He's gotta get that shit more on point. Magneto without consistent dashes is pretty much Magfritos. His movement is, is arguably the most, um, you know, formidable, formidable thing he has in his arsenal. Obviously, we all love to see his combos and his resets and all that shit, but you're not too likely to get some nice combos without some good-ass movement. And Magneto is getting locked the fuck down right now. I would like to see a guard cancel from Kest at some point. He's got to watch Epionics' guard cancel tutorial. Or maybe Dave the Magician's, I should say. Damn, with the four-piece. All right, good. He got him out. Unfortunately, he's going to get punished. And he does. But luckily, Just Amazing dropped the fast fly. That's a rare drop from him. He uh, he does those fast flies in his sleep. His pillow be waking up with fucking damage from them fast flies. <laughs> but still, he's looking pretty good in this match. I mean, he can pretty much zone out Iron Man. Iron Man has to be really crafty to get a clean hit. And he caught him with the free HC. No, he didn't. But Sentinel is uh, on life support right now. You got internal bleeding. Iron Man going for the combo, but he drops it. Kess is not looking like him, his usual self right now. He's dropping way too many combos. And with Combo Fiend, you can't be dropping combos. Free double snap. What happened? Mm, nice throw, though. Good tech hit. But Magneto is out the fucking box. That was Magfredo's right there. Okay, dash up vertical Typhoon. Interesting. Thought he might have went for a cross-up. Oh, very nice conversion, though. And that is a dead motherfucking robot. It's all up to Iron Man right now. Well, he's out the box too. Going down to the final match. We tied up at two. Who will prevail in this bitch? Thing about Santhrax compared to Combo Fiend, Santhrax doesn't have to get a lot of clean hits. It can kind of get some stray hits into Corridor and it can still have the advantage. Whereas Combo Fiend needs clean hits to do well. Damn, look at that 11 piece. Just fucking serve that shit up. And now Magnus is already at 40%. Pretty sure Kess would love to have him a clean ass double snap right here. He was fishing for it. You saw the double crouching leg kicks. But again, that sentinel zoning is looking pretty fucking good. And that ambiguous 50 50. It's rough. I've been hit by that shit way too many times. Damn, man, he's just bit the fucking dust. Fucking bury him in the river. Tony's got a rough time right now, but he can still do it. He just got to land one clean hit. It's not going to be easy, though. Because you notice uh, Just Amazing has been blocking Kess very well in this set. And he's handing out this fucking 16 piece. I guess the 11 piece wasn't enough. He figured Kess might want some more of that shit. And see how Commando just interrupted that shit? There we go. Fucking frying pans, stomps, donut dips. Robots just be swinging on this fucking river. See, the thing in this matchup, Just Amazing has a huge advantage because he's got cap. And even though Iron Man assist, the highest damaging assist in the game, it doesn't go full vertical range. It's only really close to the ground that it hits. Whereas Commando hits almost everywhere. Perfect free HC. Again, it's all up to Iron Man. Did he bring the air tank from Mount Everest? We're about to find out. He gets one clean hit. He could literally win this match. But uh, it's going to be tough with Commando assist on his ass. And Aurora takes it. Solid performance from Just Amazing. Great shit to both players. Until next time, crack till dawn in this bitch.